week says that says this: the John Birch Society considers communism only one arm of a national of a master conspiracy in which socialist American insiders are plotting to establish world government. Now, it also says, and here's Director John McManus, that's your public relations director, saying that former Secretary of State Alexander Haig and CIA Director William Casey are two of these master conspirators who are plotting to establish world government. Now, what do you say? Uh, you know, that kind of silly, asinine statement is what makes, pe makes people laugh at the John Birch Society. Well, Tom, I'm sure, being a long-standing member of the Rockefeller apparatus, uh, and as a member of the Council on Foreign Relations of long-standing, you're fully aware that you, there is an elitist core in this country that has seen value in subsidizing communism or protecting communism. It has? Sure. You're accusing me of subsidizing communism? No, no, I'm saying because that there I is, to belong no, to a, no, to there a is an elite core. Study no, that, group? No, no, wait a minute. There is an elite core in this country that has dominated American society. Well, I'm not one of well, them. The Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission, Council on Foreign, Council on Foreign Relations. State Here's Department, I suppose. Well, let's face it, they've dominated the State Department for 40 years, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much openly All so. right, but what are they trying to do? Come well, their now. objective is to try to bring about a gradual transition in our society, a dissolving of sovereignty, and a moving steadily to the left on the political spectrum. Well, who are the they? Belief the elitist groups that I mentioned, particularly key individuals and policymakers in the Council on Foreign Relations. Is the International Monetary Fund part of this? Well, I would say the International Monetary Fund has certainly been set up for the purpose of facilitating that transfer of sovereignty and transfer of wealth on the road. Right, we elected Mr. Conservative. Let me just finish the point, right. because otherwise we're going to have a lot of un unanswered questions, that you are looking at a group that has worked to bring about the dissolution of national sovereignty on the road to world government. And certainly uh, you're familiar with the uh, local professor, Carol Quigley, who has been part of your club, in which he admitted all this. And he said in his book, Tragedy and Hope, the only thing I disagree is that we've worked to keep it a secret.